This is Cambridge IGCSE, paper 0580, component 42, February, March 2016. Let's begin with the first question. Asha, Biren, and Simul share $640. The ratio 8 is to 15 is to 9. So question number part, question number 1, part A. Show that Asha receives $160. The total share, all of them, all three of them receive is $640. And the total of Asha, Biren, and Simul in the ratio wise is 8 plus 15 plus 9, which is equal to 32. So the total number of shares given of $640 is 32. So before finding Asha's total share in dollars, we're supposed to find the worth, the value of one share. So the value of one share equals 640 or 32. So the value of one share is $20. And since Asha has eight shares, so her total amount will be 8 into 20, which will be $160. Since we have showed that Asha receives $160. This is the final answer. Now question B, question 1 part B, calculate the amount that Biren and Simul receive. So this calculation is more or less the same of the first one. So as we already mentioned, one share equals $20. And um, Biren has 15 shares and Simul has 9. And one share equals $20. Easy calculation. Since Biden has 15 shares, it would be 15 into 20, which is equal to $300. And the same applies for Simul. Simul has nine shares, so her uh, so her nine will be multiplied by 20, which is equal to $180. And in order to cross check, we can add all the values: the value of Asha, Biden, and Simul, which is equal to $640. So the final answer would be. Biren having $300 and Simul having $180. Question C states that Asha uses her $160 book, uses her $160 to buy some books, and each book is 15.25. Find the greatest number of books that she can buy. So now the total of her share is $160, and each book she buys is 15.25. So in order to buy, in order to find the maximum number of books. Or the greatest number of books she can buy. We're supposed to divide the total money, the total she has, that is one sixty dollar, over the cost of one book, which is fifteen point two five dollar. So that will give me an answer of ten point four nine. But since the number of books can be in whole numbers, so the maximum books she can buy is ten. It won't be eleven because ten point four nine is less than eleven. So the maximum number of books equals ten. Final question for D. Biren spends three by eight of his share on clothes and one by sh three share of his of his share on a computer. Find the fraction of his share that he has left, and write your fraction in its lowest terms. So first, we are supposed to find that the total amount of his share, the total fraction of his share, he has spent on clothes and on his computer. So we'll add three by eight over one by three will equal the denominators of both the fractions and then uh, add the numerators. So now the total num the total of his fraction he has spent on clothes and computer is 17 over 24. And now in order to find the his in order to find his leftover money, the fraction of his leftover money, I'm supposed to subtract 17 by 24 from 1. So 1 minus 17 over 24 equals 7 over 24. And since they have mentioned that write your fraction in the lowest term, but if we see this fraction is already in its lowest term. So the final answer, the fraction of a share that he has left will be 7 over 24. 